Okay, so we are making fish tacos with my mama today. So here's our ingredients. So cutting this mango, she's struggling. Is this a struggle I see, mom? Perhaps. Um, for kids at home, please do not cut like this. You will cut your hand off. You peel with a peeler, not a knife. You can't peel Unless you know how to peel with an actual knife. And yes, you can. You can peel it with a peeler. You can peel this with a peeler. You know how much, Why not? Um, for the bitter part you probably would taste in, if that's the case. Just peel it twice with a peeler. Mm. But, I guess mama knows best, so. Let her do her thing. So how was your day today, Mom? It's good. Worked out really well. I was able to see everybody I needed to see in a timely fashion. So my mom's a nurse, guys. She's a traveling nurse. She goes home to home doing infusions, right? Yeah. She's taking her sweet time feeling this nice mango. They look sweet. It actually does look very sweet, guys. Look at them. Well, that the one that you peeled last looks the sweetest. Yeah. Most white. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So how are we doing these mangoes? You're just cutting off the sides. Yeah. And then we're gonna dice them up. This one does look very sweet. Well, this is just a simple fried okay. fish taco that I absolutely love. Mangoes are hard because they got a little seed in the middle, which I want to eat that one, to be honest with you. Go Ooh. eat it. Slippery. No mango left behind. Yeah, well, whatever is left behind, I will be eating. Greedy. <laughs> yeah. So we're chopping up our mangoes. So we can dice them. repurpose of a bowl that she had already. We're just gonna add that to our pico de gallo mixture. Okay, so we put everything into our bigger bowl. So we have our cilantro. We have also our mangoes, our tomatoes, and our red onions. Black pepper, salt. Black pepper, salt. And Lemon juice. Mm -hmm. We should add some more the rest of the mangoes into that and a little bit more tomatoes, you said, right? Why not? Look at the colors in here. Woo! That's so tasty. I love mango pico de gallo. My mom was actually the first person who ever made this for me. And I absolutely loved it. She just got off of work. So don't mind her hair. <laughs> She's still cute though. Daddy. Ow. Okay. Anyways. We finished chopping up the cabbage. We have red and green cabbage. I'm gonna add some olive oil. Just a even drizzle around. Some red wine vinegar. A nice little drizzle around. Oh, I guess a little extra slab of apple. Some salt and a little bit of black pepper. And then we just stir it all in up. And let it sit for a while to marinate. We put some away in the fridge in a nice sealed container. For it to sit for a little bit, the excess that's left over. So we're gonna wrap this and let this sit for a little bit. 
in the fridge. Why? So that the, all the flavors will marinate and then also it will soften a little with the vinegar. We went to the butcher and you got a big chunk of cod that I'm gonna cut into pieces that I can dredge. So we're just gonna cut it up into our nice pieces and then we are going to clean the fish. So we're cutting it on the slant to get that nice filleted look. Take the things up. Finish rinsing it off. We'll put an egg into it. We're using one large egg, we just finish washing and cleaning our fish. Just gonna mix that all into it. Throw some lemon pepper into it. I'm just gonna lightly season it because our fish fry already has seasoning in it, but a you know, little extra flavor we're gonna add our own flavors. And that is a, garlic. some garlic powder. A little bit of paprika. A little bit of paprika. Pop some onion powder. So this is salt. Light on the salt because then my project seasoning has some already in it. And a little bit of black pepper. So we're just going to mix in all of the seasoning. And the fish. Yeah. Make sure that the fish is evenly coated and nice and flavor. Flavorful. We're using some New Orleans fish fry seasoning. I'm just gonna add this into a separate bowl. So we're gonna be adding in a cup of flour to that one pack of fish fry seasoning, fish fry seasoning. to help stretch it and to help thicken our batter for our fish. Well, so we can get a nice crisp to it. and we're gonna get into our fry. Okay. So we're just setting up our deep fryer. Which is ready. Right kind of the medium. We're using some peanut oil. Not all the way hot, but just warm we enough. Yeah. evenly coated our fish. All right, and we're just gonna throw them in. Do their magic. Mm, looking good. So we set up our resting rack. Okay, how our fish is looking. Looks nice and golden. I'm gonna let it cook a little bit more. And then we're gonna just transfer it onto this rack. It's to help separate the oil from the fish and it's just gonna drain down to the bottom. And we're also gonna hit it with a little bit of salt. Right after it comes out the fire. And if you like how this video is going so far, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to see more content like this. Our fish is finally done, golden brown. We'll throw it onto our resting tray. So we're gonna get ready to make our cilantro lime rice. Exactly. And we're gonna be using basmati rice today. So we're just gonna open this packet and wash our rice first. So I just finished rinsing out our rice. We're gonna put it on the side to rest. We're just setting up our, our little pot for our cilantro lime rice. So what are we doing? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna impart the rice with a little bit of flavor. So we're gonna saute some onions, um, a little bit of seasonings, and then we're gonna coat the rice with that. A little bit of oil. So we just added some oil. 
And then we added our onions, and we're gonna let that saute. Some seasonings into our um, rice, a little bit of... For our onion mixture. Yeah, for our onion mixture. A um, little bit of garlic, um, onion powder, our salt, pepper, um, taste. And we're gonna be adding in our rice. I'm going to add some boiled water in to the level of the rice. And we're going to allow, allow that to simmer until it's nice and soft. First, we're going to bring it to a boil first and then. So after our rice begins to cook and starts to soften, in order for us to get the water out and to steam the rice so it's nice and fluffy, we add some foil and then we can seal the lid back on. So, okay, we're just gonna make a quick um, dressing to put on our um, fish tacos. And it's two basic ingredients and some salt and pepper. Uh, bee mayonnaise, today I'm using some vegan mayonnaise. using a Ziploc bag so we can get that nice Easy. zigzag, yeah. cute look. Here's other three spoons of the mayonnaise. And we're gonna be using some chili garlic sauce. One spoon of that, right? Yeah, we're gonna go kind of light on this because it does have a lot of flavor. So, about that much. Like a half a tablespoon. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're just gonna mix that up. I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon pepper. And we're just gonna mix that all up. Mix that all up. It's kind of nice to bag. use it in a bag because that way you cut the little edge and, and you use that to drizzle, drizzle it over everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's a quick, easy way of doing that. Clean, no mess. Mm -hmm. And we extra flavor. Put that right back into another Ziploc bag to store it for later. Yeah. Open it, let me see what it looks like. So now that our fish is fully fried and golden brown, we're gonna move over to our flour tortillas and we're gonna get these ready. Okay, so we just added some lime juice to this bowl and how many limes did we use? Three. Three, three limes. And we added some so, some of our cilantro to it. And we're just gonna put this straight into our rice. So our rice has been cooking, and I think it's just about done. I'm gonna add our lime juice and our cilantro to it to make it official. Cilantro lime rice. Make sure we mix it thoroughly so that the cilantro gets to evenly be distributed throughout the rice. You gotta just salt to taste. All right, looks like it's ready. Okay, how you, what do you think? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ooh, baby. Sweet love. Our tortilla. First, we're gonna put a little bit of butter in the pan. Flip them over. And let those get a little warm. I always like to put them on the side so that they can start getting their little shape going on here. Okay, tortillas are nicely toasted. So, we're gonna move over here to our section. We have our salsa that we made, and now we did not have it. This is, this is a purpose uh, chickpea salad bowl. 
So those. first we're going to take some some fish. We're going to place it on our um, nice of toasted our, of our um, tortilla. tortilla. We're going to take a little bit of our salsa. And we're going to place that also right there next to it. If you like a little bit more, you can put as much as you like. Some people really love the flavor. Take some of our cabbage and drizzle our sauce, our right, sauce on right on top. Oh yes, and don't forget, you want to add a little bit of our rice to it also. So there you have it. So there you have it. Our nice, sexy taco. I'm mm. trying this taco. Whew. Delicious. Amazing. It really is, though. And that is our sexy taco. Mm. And it sure is sexy. Let me see the front of it. Show them how it looks. Woo. It does taste so good. <laughs> Quiet. Mm. Oh, mm. God. Mm.